In this video, we're going to take a look at working with IES light profiles in Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this video, I'm using the RV ship 01.C4D scene. So an IES light profile is a digital file created by light manufacturers to simulate uh, the look and behavior of lights in architectural visualization. But of course, they can be used in visual effects or in any scene where you want to have realistic lighting and a little bit more variety to the way that your lights look. So if you do a Google search for IES light profiles, there are plenty of uh, CG community sites such as this one where you can download light profiles for free. And you can also check out uh, manufacturers. So for example, Philips also has a website where you can download IES light profiles. So they simulate not just the light, but also the housing around the light. So you can get some really interesting effects. But we're just going to go through the process of adding one to the scene here, and it's pretty easy in Cinema 4D. So I'm going to close this for a moment. Go to my Octane dialog and create objects, lights, IES light. Now this is basically a Octane light with a texture added to the uh, distribution of the light. So let's bring it in here so we can see it a little bit better. And of course we need to rotate it so that it's facing the ground. Make sure I have that right. Let's go to the Octane Live Viewer window and do a quick render. Okay, so I have it upside down. There we go. So at the moment, this is just a standard octane area light. So it does not have an IES profile associated with it yet. So I just want to get in a nice position and then see what happens when we add the profile. So let's select the Octane light tag and down here where you see distribution, it says image texture. Let's click on this. Let's find one of the IES light profiles that I've downloaded. So you'll have to download your own IES light profiles um, separately, but it only takes a few seconds. They're very easy to find. Um, this is a nice collection that I found online. Let's select top post IES and open it. I'll copy it to my project directory. And you can see that there's a change in the live viewer here. Let's move this out a little bit and rotate it. So you can see that this one is meant to simulate a light on top of a post. So you can see there's a shadow built into the light here where the post would go. So if this was going to be like a street light or something like that, you would put this in the top of the street light and it has the shadow built in, which is kind of neat. If I click on the distribution button right here, you'll even see a little preview of what the IES light profile looks like. And of course, I can use this dialog here to select a different light. So let's try uh, Jellyfish. So you see, this one's a little bit different. I'm going to go back and let's increase the power to like 500 so we can see it a little bit better. And of course, you can also change the temperature of the light. I want to have it more warm. I can use this. If we select the Octane light tag here and I go back to main, you can see that the type is set to black body, meaning that the temperature is going to control the color of the light. So if you wanted to instead use a texture, you could switch this to texture and you can connect like an RGB spectrum to that input. Let's take a look at another distribution here. Let's try parallel beams. I'm kind of picking these at random here just to kind of compare. So you see you get a lot of really interesting looking uh, different types of lights using this and it can really kind of help you to expand um, the variety of the looks of lights in your scenes. And as you can see, they're also very easy to use. So that's the basics of working with IES light profiles in Octane for Cinema 4D.